Hello everyone, this is Gali and welcome to a new episode of How to Train Your Dragon. Nah, I'm kidding. How to draw your dragon. Okay, we're going to draw different kinds of wings in this episode because we already made a, a wing video but this time I just wanted to show you that there can be many different kinds of wings. So for example, we did the basic ones that were the bird wings. This is not anatomically accurate. But, you know this kind of wings and then the bat wings and those are like the basic wings that everybody does for dragons but we're going to go a little step further and make something different so we had our basic uh, wing anatomy which I told you was something like this and well, now you see, this is like the basic thing. And you have the normal bat membrane. But we're going to deviate a little bit from that design by making our own. So for example, grab a different color. And I had a lower opacity, I'm going to make it higher. For example, you can make original designs such as this, like this was a design I made a while back that had the dragon with a little hole here. This might work in some way, but it's not really helpful when flying because the air just goes through this and it doesn't give a lot of stability. Remember what I told you about looking for physically accurate things? when you're drawing is just because your dragon might not be able to fly if you make a very strange design. So we're going to, to try different things. For example, you can reference other creatures like Charizard X from Pokemon. You can see his wings are something like this, but he has little flaps instead of, you know, normal design. Like this would work. It works because it's a cartoon, it's an animation, so he can fly anyway. But when you try to make a realistic looking animal that has this kinds of wings, he probably won't be able to flap very well, because they will go anywhere. They will go like here and there, and I don't know, I don't think it will be really useful, but it's an interesting design and I really like it. What you could do to make it work could be adding membranes along the ridges like here. So this way the air would go into these ridges and make him fly. Yeah, but that could also work. So, now we're gonna make a different one. Remember to keep your base on if you're just trying out designs and instead of just doodling. We can make a robotic kind of wing. It's more symmetric. You can add like nuts and bolts. Or even a steampunk kind of wing. You know, the hinge could be a circle. There are many robots you can inspire yourself from. If you want to go for a cartoony look, that's okay. I'm not saying that not making it accurate makes it horrible. Because it doesn't, like, it looks good. But if you are going for an animal that can fly, then if you're making a mecha kind of wing, then try to add motors to it or, or something to make it fly. If not, it's just going to, to feel unreal. Not that dragons are real. Ah. Okay, now this is a mechanic kind of wing. You can see butterfly wings as well. We're gonna draw an exact dragonfly wing or a butterfly wing. But for example, you could have your dragon look something like this. Reference, okay? Reference from insects. I'm not referencing right now, I'm just giving you ideas. If you decide to draw something like this. Can you show me? 
So I really like to see what people do with their imagination. So here it goes, like an insect kind of wing. You can pause the video anytime to copy that if you want. So now you can make, for example, a wing. I I've seen many of these. It's like a reptile wing. Well, reptile meaning a normal dragon wing. And it has feathers. On the bottom. So this is like looking at the front. Looking this way. So you have both of both things, both worlds in just one thing. The bat wing and the bird wing. Yay! I like this one, especially because of that. We're gonna make a new thing. For example, let me see. Hmm. Let me try to figure out. For example, this is like a ripped wing. It also works. I've seen many characters that have it. But the more the more holes you add, it's difficult for the animal to actually fly. So keep that in mind. Don't just go overboard and make holes everywhere because no. Okay. That doesn't even look good. Unless it's a zombie zombie dragon. If it's a zombie dragon then you can do whatever you want. Okay. Yay! Third wing. What other thing can you think about? Like for example, wings that look like flip no, how do you call those things? <laughs> like fins, I'm sorry. Fins, yeah, fins. That's what I was trying to say. And it's a bit like this. And even, even, a more extreme thing could be the wing. And underneath, the smaller wing. Wait, nah, that looks horrible. But, 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 it's the same thing. Ta-da! And then... If you're feeling really happy, you can make three wings or more. Like that's that's hilarious, but it's fun to draw. What else? What other design can you think of? Let me see. I'm trying to figure out something not really original, but something different. Because we already made the feathered ones, the scaled ones. You can make the wings look like crystals. Why not? Or a spiky kind of wing. And then just like the membrane goes here. Like Lugia. Have you seen Lugia from Pokemon? It's like a, a hand wing thing. Something like that. It looks so strange. Okay. So those are many different kind of designs. I would make my wings. And I just experiment with my designs, like if I have a normal wing, then I try to figure out how to add details that will make it look different or original. You can mix things up, you can make it based on flowers, you can, I don't know, do anything with anything. That's the fun part. You can grab almost anything really and make it a pair of wings for your drag. And it will look great and original. So I think that's all for now, guys. Have fun making your different wings. Remember to try different poses, and once you have a design on mind, like if you have a design that looks something like this, I don't know, with feathers or whatever. Now that you have it like this, try to figure out how it would look folded, how it would look side view. This is just a very rushed drawing, but you get the idea. Like once you have an idea, play around with it before you actually make your dragon design. And I can tell you it's really fun. So thank you for watching guys. If you really like this video, please subscribe or share. And if you make anything based on this, can you please sh share me those drawings? Because I really like to see them and I really enjoy, I don't know, watching other people create dragons. So thank you for watching. This was all. Bye bye.